Good morning, and welcome to the Motivational Devotion, where we are merging motivation and spirituality to create a daily dose of confident positivity. I hope that this morning's podcast will help you to be more spiritually and positively motivated so that you can transform your day. Sometimes I am really not in the mood to wait. You will notice by listening to enough of these podcasts that I rarely say that I hate to do something, and that's because it puts a negative spin on whatever the activity is. Where before I would say that I hate to do something like waiting, I taught myself over the years to say that I just really don't want to do it, or I don't like to do it, or I am usually just not in the mood to do it. And that puts the choice in my control. I don't do things that I would actually hate to do. I would hate to unintentionally cause someone grief or to accidentally run over an animal, but things that I know I will need to do from time to time are things I've learned to look at as things that I just really don't want to do. Then, in certain circumstances, I will suck it up and do what I don't want to do, and then I've made the choice, and therefore I have no reason to complain. I chose to do it. So along with that choice, I am then in a position that I can make the best of it, Instead of standing in a long line, continually thinking and brooding on hating my existence at that moment, which is terribly hard on your spirit, my mind is freed up to think of ways to make the best use of the time. Sometimes I see it as a meditation, and I just zone out. Not always the best choice, if you need to pay attention. Sometimes I pull my mind back from close intimacy of the situation, and I remind myself that every person standing there, every person behind the counter, every person also walking around the store, is a manifestation of the divine, and each is a way of God being expressed into creation for some purpose. The person in a wheelchair, the unreasonable guy at the counter giving the clerk a hard time, the lady trying to corral four kids while she's on her phone, the older couple standing there looking so sad, are all different ways of God manifesting, and I think of each one, what an interesting way for God to choose to be present in the world. You do that, and the time zips by as you contemplate, and all judgment that might try to creep in is gone. Standing in lines for anything, even rides at the amusement park, used to drive me crazy. I still go to the grocery store with a specific list and get in and out. If I'm having to shop around for something, it's going to be online, where I can get it done without having to walk around in a store. And I can sit in my recliner with a cup of coffee, and so given more of a choice, for whether or not to do something, I really prefer to not do. I will find another way to get it done, if possible. We do live in a time where we want to get it now. Whatever we start, we want to pay off today, now, not months or years from now. That makes it hard to set goals because we increasingly have difficulty looking past the end of the week. We start a project and, like me going to the store, we want to get it done without waiting. We want our goals to be like pushing a button on a vending machine. Goal number one, find a new career. Insert money, press A15, and bang, a new career drops and you're done. Life just doesn't work that way, does it? But we do know people, heck, haven't we all at one time or another been the person who sets the goal for a life-changing endeavor and then complains about every step along the way to make it happen? Ugh, I hate my classes. Ugh, I have to take a test for my license. Ugh, learning how to build this online store is driving me crazy. Ugh, 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 without being thankful for the progress and the baby steps toward being that much closer to what you really want in life. We have to change the ugh to uh uh-huh, baby. I have found that I am much more patient when I've just spent time in a spiritual activity like meditating, yoga, or prayer. The timing of the universe is not set to the beat of my drum, but rather I have learned ways to time my own beat to the timing of the universe. There is much greater peace that way. That's when I look at my dreams and set goals, and then I look at my goals and I set deadlines and make lists of tasks with dates attached so that I can press forward and keep myself moving toward what I feel like my life should look like according to my inner guide. I learned from a wise person long ago that you put your goals in concrete and your plans in sand. The dream is non-negotiable, and although I might say it was a good idea at the time, it is my dream, and I realize that I have good ideas regardless of the time. The deadlines I assign? 
Well, those are somewhat arbitrary, and I do try to stick to them, but hey, things happen, and I'm not omniscient, so I can't foresee every possibility that might make me wait. Sometimes I'm delayed for days or weeks, and it's like standing in line. There's no reason to give up, and it's no reason to decide that I hate the process. It just is. If you plant some things because you want to grow your own vegetables, you can't complain that they take so long to grow and bear fruit. Anything worthwhile is worth waiting for. We grow more in sync with the universe on the journey, not in the payoff. Having the vision and patience to set a goal and pursue it for years to fruition is contrary to the get-it-now attitude of our time, but being patient with the long-term payoff builds the faith that all of creation is conspiring in your favor. Trust that the universe always has your back and you will see your life change. I know that firsthand. Napoleon Hill, author of Think and Grow Rich, once said, Strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Please help keep this podcast going by following the Motivational Devotional Facebook page, following at Threefold Way Radio on Twitter, and sharing the written format of today's message from motivational-devotional.com on your social media. I am deeply grateful for your support and thank you for letting Motivational Devotional be part of your journey. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Motivational Devotional is a production of Threefold Way Radio, LLC.